Sean Lamb here for Streaming Media Producer. I'm at NAB 2013. I'm here with Doug Jensen. He is a Sony ICE expert. That's independent certified expert. That's what they say. We're looking at the PMW 160. What can you tell me about this camera? Okay, this camera's been out since last summer of uh, 2012. Uh, but it is new for NAB. It wasn't even on the floor at NAB last year. And it is uh, kind of a smaller brother to the PMW 200, which we'll talk about in a minute. The PMW 160 has uh, three one-third inch uh, CMOS sensors and a uh, pretty nice lens on it that goes wider and tighter than the PMW 200. And that's really why I think most people would purchase uh, the 160 over a 200 is because of uh, is, is the, the different focal lengths of the lens. So this is a 20 times lens on yes. this camera here. And it's a Sony G series lens, so it's very good, very good quality, very sharp, looks great. What's the recording media and uh, the, the codecs that are available? The recording media is your standard S by S cards that have been used on Sony cameras for the last, uh, since 2007. It's got two card slots on it and it'll do 50 megabit 422. So this is a step up from the EX1 and the, even many of the other Sony uh, S by S camcorders is to do, be able to do that 50 megabit 422, which a lot of broadcasters have kind of set as that's the standard broadcast format that you need to have today. So that was the PMW 160. This is the PMW 200, the bigger brother. What's different on this camera? The main difference between the PMW 200 and the 160 is that this has half inch sensors, whereas the 160 that we looked at a minute ago has one third inch sensors. And of course it has uh, the, the shorter zoom lens. You want to look at the PMW 200 as essentially just the next re evolution of the EX1R. You know, the EX1R has been out for many years. People are very familiar with that. This is essentially just the next version of the EX1R, but they've renamed it the PMW 200. Um, with the biggest difference between this and the PM and the EX1R, sorry, is that this camera can now do uh, 50 megabit 422. Uh, it's the same lens, the same half-inch sensors, a lot of the same ergonomics, but it does add 422 uh, 50 megabit, and that's kind of the big improvement of the uh, 200. And it's at the same price point, so you can't complain about that. What can you tell me about the the noise handling on this? It, does it handle noise a bit better? Um, I've done some comparison with the two cameras, and I think the 200 and the EX1 are very close together. Um, some people might say that the EX1 has better, pro I mean, the uh, 200 has better image processing, and it's maybe a little bit not quite as noisy as the EX1. I, even though I'm working for Sony Day, I'm not going to tell you that's necessarily true. I have not seen that in my own testing. To me, this is a pretty much an EX1. Uh, evolved to the PMW 200 and if I, I wouldn't try to tell you that this was substantially better picture quality or lower noise than the EX1. If you like the EX1R, you'll love this camera. Excellent. Thank you very much. This has been Doug Jensen for uh, Sony here at NAB 2013.